Kyoto, and this is five family fun things you can do in Topo. This is Sean, and he's a prawn. He's the host of Hookah Prawn Park. He is a giant Malaysian river prawn, just like these little guys. You can go on a guided tour through the nursery and hatchery and even hand feed the baby prawns. have a fun park with activities that could last hours, like riding a swan. The whole family can fit. If the swan has a swoon you, you could always take a ride on the paddle wheel. to wear swimwear, there are water activities everywhere, and there's every chance you can get splashed. Ready, These rocks are quite slippery, so make sure you bring uh, adequate footwear. even some activities to stimulate the brain, so keep on the lookout. There is also a restaurant attached to the park, so if you have the brawn to try a prawn, you can go there. Otherwise, you can try this lovely cafe. We serve tea from a tree. This is a cafe with a unique style. Meander your way through the living room and you'll find yourself at Le Art Cafe. There is always something to catch the eye and it appeals to all ages. I show you the round gym. Okay, I'm coming. The food is great and there is so much on offer, especially to buy. It's definitely worth seeing. There is a lovely park at the top of a hill. Take a 
small stroll down and meet the Waikato River. The little stream off to the right is geothermal. The warm spring is an attraction to most. It's had a recent upgrade to accommodate how popular it is. Hide under the warm waterfall and enjoy the day. This is the old Tumu Heke stream. Downstream, where the Waikato River is a hundred meters wide. What makes Hookah Falls special is not the height of the falls, but the amount of water that goes surging through. That hundred meter width gets squeezed into fifty meters through a hard volcanic canyon. The power is enough to make your hair stand up. The amount of water coming over the falls. It would take a mere 11 seconds to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. This is Lily Putt Farm, just out of Hillpool, and it is full of friendly and unique animals. opportunities to feed and cuddle loads of animals. Besides the animals, there are lots of facilities for children to climb in or on and generally jump around. Lastly, this is the drop zone. This is ideal for those poor weather days. There's an indoor playground for climbing, sliding, bouncing, and tumbling over. There's an arcade and 10 pin bowling, a whole lot to do within the drop zone. While you're there, you should try Sugar Mama's Dessert Bar, which is next door. So if you want your trip to Topo to be a slam dunk, check out these places. Please like and subscribe, and I'll promise not to do any more of these slam dunks. The only